The quick tech tip of the day. Okay, shop has a problem. Car's not cooling. He says the pressures seem a little funny and he's not getting the right kind of cooling was the descriptions. So we had a low side pressure of 30 to 31 PSI. We had a high side pressure of 177 PSI. Okay, he was saying, oh, it's kind of cool today. We're in our high 60s to 70 and 177 seemed a little bit high. He says, I think this one's overcharged. Uh, so I come by, I hook my gauges on, I confirm. We got 30, 31 on the low side. By the time I got here a little later in the evening, it's 169 PSI on the high side. For all those guys out there who are the YouTube professors and say, oh yeah, you charge by pressures and the temperature of the gay. Yeah, well, guess what, SOB? The majority of vehicles in the last 10 years are all variable capacity vehicles. All the compressors are variable capacity compressors, not vehicles. And they will try to maintain what they want with a given pressure. They do not all react the same. So in this case, on this vehicle, which I see a lot of times when guys try to charge by pressures, when I recovered the refrigerant out of here, there was only 270 grams of refrigerant. And as you can see right there, our oil system uh, refrigerant capacity on this one is up to 450 grams. So 270 and I had 31 on the low side and, 100, and he had 177, I had 169 on the high side. Now if you got one of those little jerk off cans you get from O'Reilly's or one of the auto parts stores with that little gauge that has a little green for good and red and yellow and all that bullshit. Well, on this one, it would have said it was okay because it would have been roughly around 30. You would have been in your little green zone. and uh, But yet, you were only half the charge. And this is what happens when jerk-offs try to charge a car using pressure. And you have to have the high side too because who the hell knows? You have that little damn ass gauge and it says it's green, but you could be 400 PSI. And you wouldn't know it because you don't have a high side gauge. And on top of that, this was another one of those dirty uh, air filters, a little air restriction. That doesn't happen, help. So I'm about to fill this up. So let's go for the fill up. Let's turn off. I got down to 460 uh, microns. For the longest time, I couldn't get under 1,000 microns, so I just let it go for an extra hour, and I finally got it down below the 500 micron range. So now, we are going to, let me zero this sucker out. Okay, zero it out. Okay, turn off the vacuum. Vacuum is off, go back here, let's charge her up, open up the gas. And we're filling her up. And you notice, you don't hear the engine running. If you have to run the engine to charge a car, you got issues. Let's call it a day right about there. I might zero it in a little more, but let's start it up. Let's see what happens. Turn off the high side. This is an old hybrid. We got 174,000 miles on it. Our air is at high, we got a new air filter. We're dropping. Okay, so now I have 450 grams in there. 
we still have to even everything out. You should let a car run 10, 15 minutes before you take your true actual test for your pressures. But here we have 175 so far. Uh, the shop owner, when he had his gauges up, he was getting 177. He had 270 grams of refrigerant in this car. I have 450 grams of refrigerant in this car. Jeez, let's go by pressures. All those guys on YouTube go by pressures. I want to stick the freaking hoses up there, you know what, and uh, blow them up with some refrigerant and give them a little pressure so they can enjoy. And uh, I was at 30, 31 PSI on the low side with 270 grams. We have 450, 440. We're at 27 grams. But before it wasn't cooling. It was barely cooling. And we're at 50 right now, but this is only at idle. Our suction line temp our liquid line temp. Our superheat, superheat 17 degrees. Subcool 11 degrees. When you have radiant heat going to hit your sensors, whether you're using the wireless sensors or the wired sensors, I have an exhaust manifold back there. So the radiant heat, that's the heat that when the sun hits you in the face and makes your skin warm, radiant heat will strike an object and heat it up. Well, this is your sensor you want to take a temperature. And if it's right by an exhaust, or if it's right by where a hot air, you have 170 degree, 190 degree air blowing a fan and it's blowing right over your sensor, that's going to throw your readings off. So in this case, I'm protecting my sensor so I get a true reading of the low side suction line. And right here I have the high side liquid line. Here I have the sensor tip. If you could see all the way back there, I have it right into the hole that goes all the way back into the plenum where the inlet goes to feed your evaporator through the fan. Give it a, about 1500 RPMs, 15, 2000, like when you're going down the street. I wish I had my laptop to show you the um, job link software for field piece records off of all these wireless sensors and records everything for your customer and for your records. You put a copy, you give a copy to your customer, and you keep a copy with your invoice and uh, to show what all your readings were on the day when you finished the job. Do a before, do an after. So we're good enough there. This just is a quick, dirty, and easy job. Other than the evacuation time was really long because the system was contaminated with moisture. So it's the end of the day. This guy's a friend who owns the shop. So I spent the extra time, had a meal, and just left everything on the two vacuum pumps so I could remove the moisture out of this customer's system as best as I can. Can't remove it all. We did not replace the desiccant dryer. Leave the doors open. Crack the other door open. You want to load the system, have it on fresh air so it could bring in the hot engine heat. It's coming from the fans, coming up. You can feel up here it's hot and it sucks in the hot air down through there which you can uh, read oh where's my oh i don't have access to that temperature right now but it's probably around 90 degrees so after the vehicles we have both doors open we have it in fresh air mode 
and it looks like 270 grams of refrigerant and 450 grams of refrigerant give you nearly exactly identical pressures. 31, 32, he had 177, 178. This is why you tell those mofos on YouTube who say go buy pressures to go stick it. That's it, until next time.